activities and movements. It was decided to transfer the property of the Communist Party to the Republican government. The president emphasized that today's situation requires common sense when we left the Parliament Hall, the debate was still going on and will continue its work tomorrow. I think you will all remember that the Declaration of Independence in the, or by the Baltics, Baltic Republics was greeted cautiously uh, at first in the Western world, but now uh, there has been a change. Finland has established diplomatic relations with three Baltic republics. In the near future, there will be a decision to send Finnish ambassadors to the three Baltic capitals. The Czechoslovakian government has recognized the independence of the Baltic governments. There was a ceremony uh, in Prague today and it was decided to open embassies of Czechoslovakia in the three Baltic capitals in the near future. More information now. We have received information that the governments of Chile and Uruguay have recognized the independence of Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia. UN General Secretary Perez de Cuellar said that the question of admitting Soviet breakaway republics to the UN should be decided first within the Soviet Union itself. I would like to remind you that last Sunday Boris Yeltsin signed an order which transfers the property of the uh, Communist Party of the Republic uh, to the Republic government. This order was sealed today and Yeltsin appealed to all foreign governments to freeze all foreign currency accounts of the Communist Party which are located in those countries. So perhaps we will have a, a, an easier time with hard currency here in our country. However, the three days of the coup uh, took their toll on our economy. We believe that businessmen will have uh, an opinion about this. Sometimes fig figures, statistics are more eloquent than words. This organization has decided to uh, allocate uh, four million rubles to the defense of those who defended the uh, Russian Federation building during the coup. We have all come through a, a very difficult three days. It's a big lesson for us. In your opinion, considering these lessons, what measures could be taken or have already been taken which would ensure the development of democratic relations in the country? and in the uh, governmental structures. We believe that today, as the leaders of our economy have left the administrative system and have their own representatives in the government and legislative structures, we have bankers who are already involved for all practical purposes in market economy. We must move the market economy forward and uh, guard against uh, unwise decisions. We can re recommend that other businessmen follow the course of Income Bank and its uh, leadership. But this is a long story. 
To establish a chronicle of the days of the coup is extremely important, and the independent news agency Post Factum has is preparing to issue a chronicle of the coup d'etat called Three Days. You are an independent information agency. Uh, you were prohibited from working during these three days. And now, uh, such a short time later, you are managing to publish a book about it. Yes, we have connections of people who work in this area. The main connections uh, were already in place uh, with independent governments uh, during this time. During the days of the of the coup itself, uh, who had the benefit of your information? We have our clients uh, among information agencies. Uh, embassies, television networks in Western countries, and during the coup, we provided them information at no charge. What is the fate of this uh, book in the future? Will it be sold publicly, or will it remain in, in some archive? I think in the very near future, uh, we will publish a, a, a book on these three days. There will be uh, a chronicle, uh, analysis, forecasts. I think it will be coming out uh, fairly soon. And now we, now about uh, space exploration. We have one more satellite in space today. Our correspondent reports from Baikonur. Some people say that space exploration is a luxury for our country. We should feed the people and then. Uh, launch rockets, but today's launch can give evidence uh, to the cron to the contrary. We launched an Indian satellite in a joint launch with the Indian government. Specialists say that this will uh, expand the potential of our uh, space center significantly. We understand that Western prohibitions on economic and technical cooperation with us uh, are a, bar a barrier. But I, we think that when technical cooperation is restored with the West, then space exploration will be one of the main things we have to offer. Uh, the next satellite in this series will be launched with the help of Indian technology. The Satellite launch today will uh, remain in orbit for at least four years, providing information to us all that time. If you consider the entire uh, budget of the Soviet space program, it's only uh, 10 kopecks. Uh, per capita, which does not seem like too much. Today, the Japanese assistant uh, prime minister, deputy prime minister, uh, brought a personal communication to President Gorbachev. They discussed uh, the agreements which were reached uh, when Gorbachev was in Tokyo and how these Tokyo agreements will be implemented. We, should, we continue now acquainting you with new people who have come uh, to government posts uh, as a result in the aftermath of the coup. Boris Pankin has become the new uh, foreign minister pending confirmation by the Supreme Soviet. 
Boris Pankin was born on February 20th, 1931. He is a Russian. He graduated from Moscow State University. For 20 years, he worked for the newspaper Komsomolskaya Pravda. And from 1965 to 1973, he was uh, editor-in-chief. He has been a diplomat since 1972. He worked as ambassador to Sweden and then until this month uh, was ambassador to Czechoslovakia. He never re recognized the actions of the coup plotters and said uh, on Czechoslovak television that he remained loyal to the legally chosen government of the USSR. Mr. Punkin, running the entire foreign affairs ministry is more, more complicated than running one emb embassy. What are the main measures you plan to take uh, first? In the first place, we plan